What is up, guys? Uh, bit of a pickle over here. I'm not sure. Uh, like, I, I really need a miracle to be able to win this. 600 against... Two. If there were no generals, this would be doable. But this unit of Yarikachi is going to mess things up. These All these Spear Levy are going to mess things up. I at least have a good fort type to work with, but... Oh my god, is this going to require me to really pull out like all the stops on this? I made a crucial mistake. I did not see the enemy army. This enemy army, this rebel army, was in the forest hidden and I completely forgot about it. And I sent my main army out. So, I mean, either way, this is going to be an attrition battle. I need to try and at least get rid of the Yarikachi. Those are the main concern here. And I, I put a lot of money into the settlement, so it feels kind of bad to lose it like this. But I need to, like, damage. Like, I need to damage, get to work damaging as many gates as I can. Like, all of this is about just... All of this is about, like, damaging gates. Oh, no, 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 actually, no. I don't want to damage that gate. Not this gate, actually. Leave it as is. Because this area is wide enough where they'll be able to counter-fire my own men. Oh, boy. Did they all spawn down there? Yarikachi? Oh, boy. This might be bad. No, actually, what I will... I, I'll burn down this gate here. Maybe that's about something. I'll burn down this gate as well. Because what I really need to do now is I need to buy time. I need to break up this enemy army so that they don't all advance at the same time. I, I need to give myself some time to deal with the Arikachi. And there's also Spear Levy down there as well. Ooh, it's going to be bad. So I'm going to have to, like, defense in depth against the Spear Levy and then yeah, rush over the Spear Levy here quick. Okay, it's only Spear Levy down here. I think I'll be able to repulse this attack. If I can just get these guys onto the second level now. Oh, man. I'm lucky that they that on this map... Oh, my God. Never mind. I'm not lucky in anything. Yeah, I need to burn down this gate over here now. Holy crap. Yeah, you guys get onto the second level. This is getting worse by the minute. I need to burn down this gate quick. Okay, I think I did the trick. Get back in there, boys. Get on the walls now. Some fire arrows in there quick. Oh, this is going to be so damn painful. Now I really have to hope that they do this slow march into one of these gates. I really put myself into a pickle over here. Holy crap. It's time to... Do the whole concave overlapping zones of fire. Let the Spear Levy now meet them in the melee. It's not working. I also got like the worst deployment. They just, they just spawned all over the fort like this. Just vomit all over the fort. There's, like, no chance at all to, to, like, bottle them up all into one area. I have to do it like this. And they're also advancing on them. The main force is about to reach the walls as well. I really don't have any time, much time for this.
I just have to do enough damage to them to force them to like merge on the campaign map and then I need to bring in I need to I need to bring in the uh, my own navy as well to give some naval fire support to my army when you retake the settlement and this should, this should have been so much easier if it was all just levy infantry like without the spear levy part Well, I need to get one of these units to break. One unit to break, and then hopefully that can cascade down the line. Come on, break him, break him, break him. All back. Okay, there's one unit broken. Yeah, those levies really did not take the baits of going through the gate. Okay. Target the Yarikachi, please. Gonna break, you're gonna break, you're gonna break. No, I'm gonna sh get shaken. Okay. Well, considering these are all just expendable garrisons, I think we traded rather well overall in this fight. Run fire at will now. It ain't over until it's over. We got one unit there. Oh, we got the Yarikachi was actually wavering. The Yarikachi is actually wavering. Hang on, hang on. We might have something going on here. Just barely. Oh, you running in place over there? Charge of the Yarikachi. See if you can get something going here. They're shaken. Yeah. It's better to just quit it than destroy your own, like, your, your whole psychology over fighting a losing battle like this. That's gonna hit my economy probably pretty hard, actually. Ah. Uh. Province lost. Yeah, we lost about 500 Koku. And also, probably a significant part of our modernization. That was... That was... Quite worthwhile. Ruling clan supports the Shogun. Not for long. We'll... Uh... It's okay. I'll, I, know, I know what to do about this. 
We're gonna bring the navy in. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna we're gonna do. We're gonna bring in the navy. I could probably do this like in a straight fight, but whatever. Let's just lay an ambush over here, hide ourselves for now. Still fervor. Ah, you see, it's the same as the base game Shogun 2, where if you uh, if you embed the agent into an army, they no longer convert the province. I wonder if that was intentional or not. So we are about to have that craft workshop finished. I put like 5,000 cocoa into that, into the, into the gold mine. That, that stings, man. Yeah, I, I would like to have my uh, one unit of Yariki. If you would be so gracious as to allow me it. Oh, oh man. Ah no. Whoa whoa. I cannot send my navy after that army. No way. My sword for you, my lord. Or perhaps I don't mm, it's, uh, mm. I don't know, maybe I can. Maybe it's it's a big maybe. It's not a lot of levies in here. This is a pretty, pretty sturdy army. Yeah, okay. Limited resources. Gotta send them back next turn. Yeah, these guys must be really annoyed going all that distance halfway. Anyway, let's uh, head on to the next turn. Probably should have vassalized Matsui while I had the chance. Alright, so Fukuoka is standing around doing nothing, maybe waiting for reinforcements. They're not attacking me. Of the line, sir. Uh, everyone. Okay. How they deploy over here? Okay, then that means we burn down that gate. Today, sir, we defend. Today, sir, we defend.
Let's try deploying line infantry here. Down, 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 down. Oh, they're going to try firing at that awkward angle. If you're wondering why I'm placing levy here instead of line infantry, it's because the AI prioritizes line infantry, which they can't see right now, but also because levy, interestingly, have 15 ammo instead of 10, like line infantry. See if these guys start firing. Oh, they're still in, they're stuck in the walking animation here. That's interesting. Uh, I want to hit these guys and see if I can drag them into the fort. Yeah, my, my, my men are just taking fire and not taking any, like, not, not giving any in return. And now we've got them. Let's try and pull them into the fort. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull them off the gate as well. It's not like they're doing much here. Charge them in again. And then we pull back. You would be so kind as to fire, man. It's a polite invitation. Then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send these guys outside. No, no, send you outside and then... It's going to take a while. And they won't oblige either.
Trying to get them to form up their lines here, maybe get get one volley into them just for the extra like morale shock. Spirit Levy are holding reasonably well. I'm guessing it's something to do with the height advantage here. Alright, so this didn't work the first time. Let's see if it works this time. Go. Come on, get a shot off. Uh, was not necessary. So yeah, get the line infantry down there as well. Look at them all cute over here. Three. All right, so these guys did not attack me, and because uh, Fukuoka has not advanced yet, I think. Like, I think I have time to get the Yarikachi in here. That's what really matters. So I can get a unit of Kiheitai in here. Kiheitai at the ready. And here's here's the interesting thing about Fall of the Samurai. They they seem to have uh, structured it around making the difference, the main difference in terms of cost is in terms of recruitment, but upkeep, like there's not that much of a difference. You go from 122, it's like about it's about 40 upkeep. It's not it's not much of a difference. How much repression is here in the fort? Okay, um... I'll send more line infantry here for now. And then I'll, I'll try to remember to, like, pull them back over here towards... Um... Because I don't want to lose out on the money here. 
51. I'll repair all the stuff, just you know, reduce the unrest as well at the same time. Yeah, we're gonna bombard these guys. Not too good. I think, uh... Attack! So no one's gonna be raiding the farms. I guess I'll repair them. Also, yeah, research. We just got we just got the extra charge bonus. That's gonna be really handy. Five turns to that good modernization. Also, yeah, I will be spending on the financial district. It's not a lot of good money in a well-defended province as well. So, let me see. Um, diplomacy, where's the diplomacy? Suwano. Unacceptable, okay. Matsui, where are you? Okay, not gonna accept it either. Kokura, I'm interested in what you're going to do. Are you going to go after Fukuyama? That would be nice. I'm going to go for one unit of Yarikachi. Even if you're going for purely modern armies, I think Yarikachi, like one unit of Yarikachi still holds, like plays an important role. That sucks, I put so much money into that. You will rue the day you decided to rebel against me, Suwano. So yeah, I'll rat it. Uh, this guy's gonna... Yeah. It's 5% to replenishment? Absolutely. Also, what has Fukuoka built over here? Gambling Den? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for an artil artillery school. I need an artillery school somewhere. Just for parrot guns. I don't think I'm going to go for Armstrong. Because parrot guns, artillery, I just need it for, uh, for forcing the AI to approach during field battles. That's what they're really useful for. Which, fun fact, is also the case in base game Shogun too. So you can just cheese the AI by getting one unit of European cannons. And you never have to... Fight an offensive battle. Alright, let's see what battlefield the game hands out to. Oh, not a bad one. Not a bad one. Indeed, not a bad one, but uh, it's it's the Spear Levy and Yarikachi that are going to mess this up. The Levy infantry on their own are just m more than easy enough to deal with. Oh, wait. Actually, I see what I need to do. I see exactly what I need to do here. Okay, never mind. So you see this unit of Spear Levy here... Yeah, yeah, I understand. And then you have the line infantry right behind them. Like, all this, like, it's so damn important. I love this game. I just love it. So these things, you know, these little things, that, that, that that's why we play Total War. Being rewarded for just that, uh, just that small attention to those, like, m seemingly minor details. And it seems like they really designed the maps to... Like, compared to the base game Shogun 2, there's a lot of these depressions and undulations in the maps. Like, they really thought about it. Like, yeah, this is a gunpowder game that's actually designed the stages with that in mind, just a little bit. Look at me, the idiots here. Now the question is, how am I going to use the naval bombardment? Because I do not want to 
I certainly do not want to target my own men. Especially not these, like, very good units of line infantry. I might do a staged withdrawal instead. I don't know. Maybe just withdraw further back and then have these line infantry to cover. I don't know. But then there's all those units as well. I need to... No, no, actually... No, no, you stay there. I'll have the spear levy. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta place these line infantry units here. Because they're gonna send their cavalry around. At least they're sending them all in the same direction. Yeah, cavalry are a much bigger issue, like, in field battles. Enemy cavalry to deal with than in Shogun 2. Because, you know, you just had the Ari Ashigaru in that game, but... In this game, it takes a toll on your very limited units of line infantry like this. Immediately! <laughs> I, like, I like that. So they're sending these two levy infantry in first. Are they, are they really going to do it in this manner? Or are they really just going to... Okay, I guess be my guest. I guess just be my guest. Okay, come on, come on, you guys can fire. Fire, 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 please fire. Yeah, just perfect timing. Sir, your general is under attack. Okay. Soon. One of the shots might hit my own men, but it's okay. So. Yeah, I'm considering I really might have to do the whole stage withdrawal kind of thing. So is my general also risking his life over here. Come on, fix him. F finish him, I mean. Everyone get in there. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, that was one really bad shot there. Holy crap. Ah, it's painful to see. It's painful to watch. But my Yarikachi are going to hold really well in this fight overall. At least the Yarikachi, the enemy Yarikachi is advancing down like the front and not... Also, yeah, this guy, these guys, I forgot they didn't have any. Come on, rally. Send, I think I'm going to send my general through the gap here, through the gauntlet. Who's about to break here? No, no, no. Yeah, I might have to do the staged withdrawal thing. See if I can get them to break. I just need to buy time so that my... Just buy time so that my uh, naval fire support can come back online. Yeah, everyone retreat. And I lost my Yarikachi there. Fall back.
get the naval fire support going. Get the naval fire support train going and get my general out of here quick. Can use my general as major kiting bait. I'm just concerned over the enemy general coming after my men. Now will you hit? Oh! There's the Yarikachi down there as well, just being really annoying. Yeah, target the enemy general. Quick, 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 quick. Still not. It's still, it's still like a coin toss right now. Good news, sir. The enemy general is dead. Oh, we did it. 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 Oh my god. I can't believe we did it. Just barely. But I do not think we're going to be able... I I'm not sure if we're going to be able to take this on this turn. Holy crap. I, I don't even know if we're going to be able to take this over on this turn. Right now we're still pretty... I, I, I don't think uh, we're doing too well. Too hot. And I have no idea if my Yarikachi survived. If I lose it, that's a pretty big loss. But I might have to like go on a retreat, a bit of a tactical retreat. I, mean, I think it's good. Like uh, sometimes, like I, I try to, I'm, I'm too hard on myself by making these, mis these mistakes on the campaign. But I also realize, hey, you have to show you guys like how to deal with these mishaps when they do happen. Yeah, I agree. It was a costly victory. If I, I think, I think I could have done better if I pull, if I, if I pulled back a bit earlier, especially to keep the Yarikachi alive. I think I was actually a bit too late on the whole like withdraw call. But yeah, actually, no, never mind. Pretty substantial. Yeah, I, we still have a pretty substantial force here. I'll be able to deal with them in the follow-up fight. I, I can, I can deal with them in the follow-up fight, especially with the same terrain. Yeah. It's possible. But it's surprising. I didn't lose a single unit there. Alliance, Broken, Sendai, Nagaoka. Not like I care. Rebellion and Suwo. Okay. Yeah, people don't like me here. A big whoop. I'll, uh, let the garrison deal with them. Strike them down. And I'm so glad that I actually got the general at the end of that fight. That would have hurt so bad if he just, like, survived. No one enters, no one reaves. Yo, Suwano, are you uh, willing to accept... They are, but, like, I, I want the settlement. Besieging! Uh, I guess I'll merge them, honestly. I'm probably gonna lose them in the next fight anyway. Huh. Yeah, I'll merge them. Who, who else is... Uh, okay, these people aren't happy with me. These people are okay, I guess. Fukuoka has not yet advanced. Better for me, I guess. Let's get one unit of Yariki. Ready for 
I, I, I will get screwed though if Matsui like shows up right now. That would be a really bad timing. Really uncalled for Matsui. Oka. Wait, this is my vassal, right? We got the Yarikachi in here just in time. What's my uh, modernization looking like? I guess... Okay, uh, Suwano is not confident in winning this fight. He even went to merge dollar units. Yeah, that's not looking like a good fight. Fukuyama. Unacceptable. To batter. Also, wait, did I get the blood? I, okay, I did not get the the blood slaughter trait. Sad. Three K a turn, not bad. We got rebels here. We'll let, let them have it. Come right on, boys. Oh, they went for Hirado instead. I half expected that, honestly. All right. All right, let's finish this saga over here with Suwano. Haha, <laughs> saga, get it? Anyway. Yeah, those numbers really do not look as bad as they were last time. I am a hard driver of men, okay? I can make them really, really stretch themselves to their limits. And if you're wondering, oh, that reverse slope tactic is kind of cringe or whatever, like you're supposed to have the advantage on the higher ground, but uh, you'd be surprised if you read about German tactics, like... Uh, during uh, German army tactics during World War One, like using the reverse slope was something like they did, they actively did. Like like that that was something they actively did during that war. So it's not it's not made up. It's not gamer logic or whatever. It's an actual thing. Generally, in modern warfare, being uh, you want to be behind the hill and not right on the crest of the hill. That's just making you a target for everyone. If you if you would take if you would want your tanks to drive up and then pitch their heads over the top and then fire like pitch like the, the the turrets over the over the crest of the hill where they can fire but where they're not where their bodies aren't exposed to anti-tank fire orders prepare to defend sir Gonna do this the same way we did last time, only on a smaller scale. Yeah, I, I, this would be high time for Neil Fire, especially if I'm going to fight an entire army of Yarikachi. It's kind of essential at that point.
Okay, let's just wait for them to come over the top. Now, I, I'm not sure. Will I need the naval fire support in this fight? Because I know these guys, they don't have a lot of experience. They have like one, ex one of them is even completely fresh. And I think one volley is enough to like get rid of the generals as well. There's no Yarikachi down there, so there's no like tough units to deal with. And in any, in any case, I don't think I'm going to be keeping the spear levy for very long. Send them forward. They're going to drive into the flank. I don't think I'm going to use my general, honestly. Seems like a bad idea. Your men have killed their general, sir. There we go. That's it. Uh, sadly, no heroic victory. Yeah, that was still not enough. I was hoping that the that the that the auto resolve would just finish them off. The end of battle auto resolve. Also, yeah, Oka might actually naval bombard my coastal provinces. It's not going to be very nice. Well, thank you so much for watching. And unfortunately, there's a Bokachi siege defense. <laughs> I thought my troubles were over. I said bows aren't that common in this game. And here they are, bows. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.